Hey, it's Petula Ford, Abigail Williams. Do you care if we ask you 16 questions? Sure, go ahead. How are you today? I'm good, I'm a little bit tired, but ready for our performance tonight. Who has influenced you the most? Even though he's not with us anymore, probably the late theater professor Mark McGinley because he taught us pretty much everything you know, shaped my stage presence, and most importantly taught me to keep a very good sense of humor in rough situations, which I have found is very important going into your senior year of college. What is your favorite spot on campus? Right here. What can't you live without? Toothpaste, toothbrush, pretty much anything involving oral hygiene or can't. Where do you want to be in five years? Either graduating from an MFA program or having recently graduated from an MFA program and going to something else, and that's Master of the Fine Arts, for anybody who doesn't know. What is one thing you didn't know about Abraham Lincoln before you came here? I did not know about his wrestling match with Jack Armstrong, I think it's his name, and the Clary Grove Boys. I had no idea about that. Dr. Toomey taught me. Where are you from, by the way? I am from Hartford, Tennessee. It's about three minutes from the North Carolina state line if you're traveling on I-40. Very small town. I think we have two gas stations and like 11 rafting companies, and that's about it. Who is your favorite president? Probably Teddy Roosevelt, because he was really young when he took office, and I love the quote he had. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Who inspires you? Ooh, probably everyone who ever takes this stage with LMU players or anyone because I've seen so many people break out of their shells and just try something new like this and it's quite amazing to see someone who goes from probably never saying a word to anybody to standing on stage in front of upwards of 200 people and performing. That's amazing to me. What is your favorite Arthur Miller part? Definitely this one because it's his most powerful. I do like Death of a Salesman really well as well though. Have you ever Googled yourself? Yes, I have. The only thing that ever shows up are the old pictures of me when I played soccer in high school and my profile picture on Facebook. Pick one, puppies or kittens? Yes, all of them. What app can you live without? Can't I live without? Snapchat, I love Snapchat. That's my main form of communication with my friends because none of us like texting because it's annoying. Alive or dead, who would you like to have dinner with? Charlie Chaplin, because he had a very like rough childhood and he still didn't let that stop him. He let it influence his performances and he created so many wonderful characters, was a master of improv. I would love to have a, any conversation with him. What is the worst way someone has pronounced your name? Oh, goodness, in high school, right over the intercom for the entire school to hear, can Penicella come to the office, please? When do you typically go to bed? Go to sleep. No, I'm kidding. Um, I usually around midnight-ish every night. Depending. I have 9.30 classes, so I know that's a horrible mistake, but yeah.